What's up, guys? Fred here, back today, playing some more Children of Morta. And we're going to be picking up where we left off last time. Any cool events for us to watch? Mandrake, how wondrous are its properties. Alright, um, what? Okay, we do have an, a, a little interaction here. Feeding the shy fish always involved much pomp and circumstance. A ritual that was usually held by Lucy and Linda and featured the animal's playfulness. And no dark summoning ritual of corruption is getting stronger. Hmm. Well, before we go into the next dungeon, we certainly can uh, can feed the animals. And see what kind of buffs we can get for that. We have been picking up a lot of treats. Well, by a lot, I mean three, I guess. Um, increase our experience gain, our critical chance, and our dodge chance. Oh, we feed them once and we're still at zero? Okay, so it takes a little more than I thought. All right, I'll just I'll just leave it like this. Three percent dodge chance is not what I was hoping to do, but that's all right. Let's just go down. I would have gone with the experience for sure, but I, I just remembered we hadn't <laughs> we hadn't fed the fish yet, so I was I was gonna spread the love a little bit. I didn't realize it was gonna take two of those treats. All right. Who are we going to play as today? Kevin? Uh, Mark is still fatigued. Kevin? Maybe the more difficult choice. However, at level 4, I do like the idea of getting him leveled. Or even pushing Linda. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to play as Linda. I like I think she's a good warm-up character for me. And she probably also does have our best chance of succeeding. And every run we do, we get a little bit closer. The time had come at last. She could finally fight real enemies. Oh, damn. Afraid but excited. The younger daughter of the Bergsons wondered if she would pass this test. I want to use her really bad. She comes with me? Okay, this might be an excellent opportunity if she adds her DPS to mine. And she's not something or someone that can be hurt. That's huge. Keep the chain rolling if there is a chain to be had. Alright, what do we got? Charm. Greatly increases critical hit chance and damage at the cost of a slow, constant drain on health. I don't like that particularly. I will say... Our sister is basically doubling our DPS right now. And I'm all about it. So if she's going to stick with us all the way to the boss, this is the run we want to do this in. We want to give this our best effort. Grab this gold. Another dead end. Even have a little HP there if we need it at some point. First gemstone. Locked and loaded. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. This is some serious teamwork. 
I wonder if the game is giving me this because it's like... Ah, uh, he sucks. He's lost too many times. I don't think so, but... What a mechanic that would be. So we've got multiple health potions. And it's hard to tell right now. I don't think she counts towards our combo. Damn. The one time I really don't need... All this HP, they're just throwing it at me. What do you got? Increased maximum health at the expense of decreased primary attack damage. That one I will hold on to. What do you do again? Increased luck? Okay. same charm. I could pop it twice, but I think having better attack damage seems a little more useful. I wish I had kept that gemstone now. I did it. I did uh, it. She just with us for the first floor. Margaret's proud smile signaled the end of Lucy's training. That makes she sense. She now had to return home to tell her mother and hopefully put some of her worries to rest. I kind of want to lose this run now. <laughs> I'd love to take uh, Lucy in. I was about to say, if this is a I shop, I'm going to be upset. The hero could put weapons aside for a moment. All right, we can make a vortex. That's pretty cool. I think we've had this one before. Let's keep exploring, though. Oh, hell no. Oh, that's it. Keep the map up. Yeah. Got like four health potions. Didn't need a single one. Got half-filled rage meter. Keep that in mind. The last time we came about here... And we got stalled on just the sheer number of enemies. Pick that up. Nice. Woo! God dang it. I was going to say, I'm going to bet that I'm not going to get another healing potion, but I was wrong. Instead, I get a lot of healing potions. Alright, let's see what we can do with one of these. Maybe something, maybe nothing. Yeah, we need two to level up anything. Okay. Okay. What do you do? Rage regenerates. Um, you know what? That might be useful. That was cool and all, but they just backed me all the way to the start of the level. What do you do? Primary attack slow? That's incredible for her. Basically give me a uh, frost arrows. Ah. Get rid of the summoners. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm pulling the whole room. That's pretty bad.
Nope, 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 nope. I'm trying not to let myself get back into a corner, man. Okay, okay. Sorry guys, go in silent mode while I try not to fail. Just too many things that summon other little things. We can make a lot of money from all that killing, but... Yeah, I don't want to keep having to run backwards, man. Something more sinister would be appearing soon. Had they only been quicker. Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying. Keep on kiting. As long as this guy's not a summoner, I don't hate our chances. I can't even use my sit still and do more damage buff. Because as soon as I do, they summon all that purple stuff underneath me. We gotta get the hell out of here, man. I want the rewards for killing these guys, but I'm taking so much damage in the process. It feels not worth. Ah, we can save the pup. This monstrous creature okay. shouldn't keep me from finding the cure for the Game time, pub. game time. Make space. God dang it. I just need to react earlier. And it should be easy mode. Okay, that's dangerous. Alright, I tried to dodge. Didn't have one on deck though. Keep it circular. He moves in straight lines. So kind of traveling in a circle is our best bet. And we got him. Primary attacks burn enemies. That's huge. Give it to One me. fungus bulb harvested. Not the most pleasant of smells, but would give bite and power to any remedy. Hold on just a little longer, young pub. I mean, if I can shoot out and they can't come in, I don't quite know why I wouldn't take advantage of that. Big damage. Alright, we gotta get the hell out of here, man. We haven't even gotten that much experience, sadly, from all that. Oh my gosh. Evade without limit. I kind of like the vortex. Alright, I see some health. We need to go grab it. Oh. 
And I'm out. Grab this gold, and then I'm out. And I'm gonna kill these guys, and then I'm out. Ooh, gemstone, worth. Super worth. So, we're not really getting lucky on the Divine Graces. We're not getting any kind of, like, powerful passives. That are gonna give us an edge. In combat, or give us lots of, like, wave clear. And we're almost out of fire damage, too. Later, man. Alright, we are swimming in gemstones. Now, I really do want to see a shop. What you got? Yes. Okay. Tired so, of being called shady, he instead adopted the title Mysterious Shopkeeper. Free potion. This is why we check the pots. A little bit of more is not going to do it for me, but a free health potion is sick. Okay, so what do we have? Chance to fire projectiles in different directions upon being hit. I don't hate that one. Lower prices. No, thank you. Create an... Okay, this one is create an area that slows and damages enemies. I like that one better than Black Despair. And this is a charm. We're going to take this one. It's passive damage. And then I've got two more. But I'm kind of hoping we'll see another shop. See, what I'm looking at right now is the fact that we still take three hits to kill those basic... God dang it. Those basic purple guys. Alright, I see that health potion. Yes, there we go. I mean, that puts us up to another three. If we wanted one of those Divine Graces, we could get it. Got him. Okay, what do you got for me? No, I don't want I don't want to drain my health. That that just seems real bad. I wasn't able to quite notice you know, how severe the experience gain was. I'm sure it was something like 10-20%. Okay. We might go back up that way. Those guys, remember, they're the ones that spit the webs. That slow me. Well, the one good thing about being at super low life is that it, it gives me no choice. I have to play carefully. Okay, we've got some pretty dangerous enemies over here. 
I don't know what this is, but I'd like to figure it out. This is so dangerous. I can't believe that just hit me, and then I got hit in the back. God dang it. Okay, at least we saved the pup. So we can come back in here with a different character. That's right, we come in here in Lucy. Oh, now I'm excited. I totally forgot. Just a little firebender. And now the fire child was ready. Something I ask my kids all the time. If you were an avatar, as if night what kind of bending would you have? Day, the cub showed no signs of its past struggles, with Lucy and he now simply dancing the day away. If the little wolf cub was to stay, it would need a room and bed of its own. All too happy to build it, Ben only required some wood and nails from nearby. Okay. So he's not in yet. A new member is the achievement we unlocked. Lucy is now available. But yeah, now we need we have like another quest, I guess. But yeah, so ask you know, when you ask your kids like which which type of bending would you do? And they've seen like the whole show Avatar. Mine have. And uh, Legends of Kiora, I think. Is what it is? Legends of Korra? That's what it is. Korra. It's interesting the answers they give. It tells you more about them based on like what it is they think the different elements represent. Oh, it's just a fun conversation we have sometimes when we're out walking. Let's see what the deal is with the cat. Ashmal the cat. When he deigned to make an appearance, was the perfect playmate for Linda and Kevin. Oh, huh, that's so cute. We had those laser pointers when I was a kid. We used those with our cat all the time. I feel like we need everything. Movement speed could be a little bit better. I'm a sucker for raw HP though, and raw damage, I'll take those. And we're gonna play with Lucy, level her up, and if we lose quickly with her because of her low level, we'll just take her again. So what does she do? She is Mary and John's youngest, except the one they have on the way. The most gifted in magic and the most playful. Combat is in fact nothing but a game to her which she plays with the flames that flow from the palms of her hands. She has a cyclone ability. Create a tornado at Lucy's location that pulls in and damages enemies. Okay. And then as long as Lucy has remained untouched for 8 seconds, a magical barrier appears around her absorbing the next damage received. I like that a lot. And then her ability, that she, her passive that she gives to the family... Her ability to look past the darkest, the darkness rubs off on the entire family. All members enter dungeons with one gemstone. That's kind of cool. And then she has a decoy ability. Leave a decoy that distracts enemies away from Lucy and other family members. And then her rage is to enter a temporary state between the physical and spiritual, gaining extraordinary abilities. I'm in. How many of y'all remember Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? It was such a sweet show. Lucy can't shoot while moving. As she stands and shoots, her attacks speed up and sidewinders begin to emerge from her attacks. Lucy uses mana for some of her abilities. Mana regenerates over time. Okay. Oh, there we go. Very cool. Yeah, I see him shooting at me. I'm anticipating getting a little bit of uh, HP at some point. God dang. 
There we go. And that's that's what I was counting on. I just wanted to get a feel for how strong she was, like right off the bat. And she melts, dudes. Easy early level. Double gemstones. Love it. I can already tell I'm gonna really enjoy playing as her. I'll spend it. Oh, and a rare animal treat. So for bigger rewards. Take that, thank you. Might have been better to hold the gemstones, but we already have two and we didn't even leave the first room yet. I can't believe that can hit me from way over there. The goblins have longer range than I do. I thought for sure the arrow would disappear before it got to me. So standing in the middle of a room doesn't seem to be what she wants to do. Okay, a common animal treat. Here we go. Get wrecked. And you know what? I should be I should have unlocked one of my abilities. Let me see what I'm doing. I like the protective ward. Let's get the cyclone. So we gotta remember mana is what's allowing us to cast that. I can spam it out. But only if I have the mana to do so. There we go. Kind of a nice opener though. I do want that protective ward. That's going to save me so much damage. I don't usually, I feel like, take a lot of damage. Like, back-to-back. Back. I feel like I take one-off bits of damage. And maybe with the right charms... She can just be incredibly powerful, like dudes won't even be able to reach her. Alright, dead end. Let's go see what's behind door number one. The most evasive of enemies, the pot. Alright, give me something good, please. A temporary reprieve offered by the gods, and a prize waiting. So, globes are more effective of all kinds. I want something that shoots lightning every time I auto-attack. That's what I want. Everything else is going to feel a little bit lackluster. Although, I will say a solid health potion sounds pretty sweet right now. We, of course, open a chest and get nothing, simply for our hubris. And a third, well, a fourth, actually. A fourth gemstone. Excellent. Excellent. 
something more sinister would be appearing soon. Okay. Our barrier ate one. And then we dodged the next one. A new challenger appeared. I'm actually not that mad when they summon uh, the elites. Good source of experience. And they drop decent loot. And they're sort of a fun challenge. God dang it. Alright, if we wanted to kind of go around, I guess we could. What do you got? Thought it said a chance to stun. Could be wrong. All right, shiny door. The gods offered this for the hardships, at least. A a totem that greatly buffs me. I'm gonna pop it here against the uh, the elite, or whatever it is they call them. All right, here we go. Okay, there's a bunch of them. Damn, I can't sit still. Okay, maybe worth, maybe not, probably not. Two additional Cyclones are summoned, that seems pretty sweet. Okay, more bad guys. Alright, don't, don't play with the big guys. I'll take the level, but... Trying to concentrate. I was underestimating these guys, and I don't... I guess I don't do quite as much damage as I felt like I was. Reroll all of our divine... Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna hold it in case I get one more crappy one. Okay. So, I can't spend any of these yet. I have to wait till my next level. Protective Ward got me. It's so nice having it. We gotta see what that does. I didn't get a chance to read it. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch, use this one, and then pick this one up. So now we've got essentially like a five hit ward save, which I'm hoping it doesn't count before our ward save. Keep them coming. Yeah, it's hard to tell. If it was counting it before or after. I see another good experience totem. Let's 
or obelisk. Let's pick that up. Probably need to not be so scared to uh, just run out our mana as needed. Okay, we're getting shot at. Okay, okay. You know what I haven't been looking for? Is to see where, if there's a... A UI around my barrier. Oh, I see it. It's a little shield that hovers around me. Okay. I'm hoping I upgrade it and I get more of them. And I can, like, stack a ton of them. I'll open one of you. No. I don't want to turn my gemstones into more. That's pretty trash. I think. Okay, we have explored that direction. What is this again? Oh, that's the... Okay, that's something else we had picked up. Excellent. And on our first run, we are going to unlock... The family member's passive. Yeah, orb. Yeah, I want as many orbs as I can get, man. I'm guessing I don't get two every eight seconds, but rather I get one every eight seconds, counting up to two. Okay, okay, chill out. Let's move on. Is this a dead end? It is. A dead end with treasure. Okay, okay. Don't hurt me. I hate that these guys flank me, man. If they just stayed in front of me like just about everything else, I'd be fine. That felt pretty sick, though. Alright, I just got hit for 40 damage. Feels bad. I'm trying to read this, man. I'm gonna take it just because it's fresh. Okay. The cyclone orbits around me. I thought that's what it said. Alright. If we... Here's the deal. We're gonna... Even if all they have here is really crummy... Thank you. Really crummy graces, we're still gonna buy one. And then we can just re-roll it. Hoping to get something incredible. Now, it's... I'm pretty sure it's also gonna re-roll my... My activatable. But I'm not that concerned about it. I should be using it more, definitely. I can buy two. Damn. Okay. Okay. Charm. Charm. Upon receiving a fatal blow, revive at a, mo a modest portion of maximum health. Okay. We're going to buy this one. We've got Blade Slinger, a melee companion. And then something else. Can I check what mine are? I can look perhaps at Divine Graces. So... Okay, which ones do I have? I got the Blade Boy. 
That's, um, I just saw him. God dang it, I went too fast. Shard Slinger? No, I got Blade Slinger. Okay, I know which one he is. What is the ribbon? I'm not seeing it. And it also didn't re-roll my relic. Well, it doesn't tell me, guys. Maybe I haven't, like, technically unlocked it. That felt like a pretty slick move. And we've got enough if we come across another shop. We can visit. It's kind of cool, but I don't know how great it is. Oh, well, I mean, that does a lot of damage. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Yeah, I wish this was range now. What I'm trying to do is hit this trap. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Yeah, I'm gonna die, man. Every time I sit still, I get wrecked a little bit. Okay, I found the exact same grace I was kind of trying to get rid of before. All the gemstones. Save me, little buddy. He's doing some work. He's picking off the stragglers. Thank you, thank you. Get me out. Ooh, what's this? That man is a giant. Adam describes how their group sought Anaidaya for her wise counsel. What did I find? Anadiah Council, or lack thereof, along with Nohar the Golem, have locked themselves away in her chamber. She refuses to open the doors. Drake be damned, the gods are a fickle bunch. With no answers, I must depart. Margaret is alone with our two boys. Being a man does not give one excuse to abandon his children. Field Journal of, of Adam. Search over here. Raya's mercy can make the impossible possible, is all Margaret whispered. Divine relic mystery unlocked. Mystery or mastery? I don't know, man. My eyes are tired. I just got back, if you guys are curious. I got back before I started recording from an antique store. Where I'm kind of... I've been making friends with the dealer for a while. The actual owner. And, uh... Super nice guy. Retired Sergeant Major from the Army. We have a little bit in common. Kind of a cool New York guy. And, uh... He just let me go up into his attic for his shop. Where he just has boxes and boxes of really sick old books. And I'm kind of a sucker for that sort of thing. But he let me take a box of books, probably easily in any other bookstore. You're going to pay 200 plus bucks for what I got. He gave it to me for $50, you know. Good dude. He's always good with the haggle. And I bought some really nice stuff from him pretty recently. I spend money in that place, which is why he likes me. And I'm a nice dude. <laughs> probably just because I'm a nice dude, but also I spend money. And I'm a young guy that kind of likes antiques and stuff, which is, you know, somewhat rare. Not the rarest, but sort of rare.
Alright, so we picked up a level. No, no, no. We need two levels. No, 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 we don't. We only need one for the for these tiers. So we can get our guardian ability or we can get this decoy ability that I'm actually a little more interested in. Okay. So no doubt this is going to cost mana. It does. Yeah, let's pick this one back up. I was hoping maybe for a little bit of HP, but... It's all good. I don't know what that is. So yeah, like my eyes are tired. That was kind of the whole point of me saying all that. My eyes are like exhausted from the searching. I mean, I could buy these. This is not showing that it's going to replace my current one. I can have two? Well, the more you know. <laughs> I didn't... I was not aware that was a thing. So we've got like a grenade and we've got a totem. God, I got so many things I gotta remember now. At least I don't have the rage meter to, to focus on. I wanna try it out. Okay. Decoy's pretty effective, turns out. And we got a rune for our decoy. Making it a little bit deadly. Giving it a, a stun. Our little bodyguard is doing a decent amount of damage, too. Alright, no friendly fire on that. I'll take the movement speed. Alright, we don't have any of our our wards up. Damn, let me sit still for a second. our first time seeing a red enemy I'm guessing that guy if I if I had to use my uh, video game acumen I'll say that he is probably stronger than the average guy but also perhaps using more of the unique elite enemies abilities oh no I don't even know what just happened let's not get hit by them I feel like it's probably near instant death and something is like launching artillery strikes at me. Two additional are conjoined. I'm going to take that one because the other one's almost gone. And I just don't want to forget. I see I've got some HP down there too. Oh, sick. Yeah, Lucy's awesome. She's officially awesome. Give me something good. Activating Obelisk will also heal me. Okay. Terrible. 
Honestly, honestly a little bit terrible. I like what we're cur currently rolling with, so I'm going to keep it. But we need to get rid of this. Just watch my back, little blade, buddy. Pick that up. Man, we're not even done with that chamber yet. Okay. Let's pull some of the... Oh my god, he hit me. I got sucked in at the last second by the other... Deal. Alright, and with this many gemstones, I'm quite confident that it's the right move to open up these chests. This floor is significantly bigger than all the previous floors. But we have found the exit. Another shop would be welcome. Give me something powerful, man. Some powerful passive. That can help me win this. It's a heal. A protector that provides armor and occasionally negates all incoming damage. Yes, you are in. So with that plus my two ward saves, I should be able to block quite a bit of incoming damage. And with one more level, we're going to get our rage meter and see what our, you know, super powerful badass... You know what, I'm going to buy this too. That's really good. I'm going to save it for a potential boss battle though. Uh, we're going to see what our what our badass like avatar state is. That is 100% the boss of bosses. I've got plenty of health right here just waiting for me to come back. So I feel really safe to explore. Having a flaming decoy is pretty sick. I have not been keeping track of my morph. I'm hoping I'm, I'm getting a lot. I walked right back into it. I dodged it, then walked back into it. Remember, we're looking for wooden nails, and I think these are the nails. It was right here. The Bergson thought that this would be one final thing that they could do for the wolf cub. Was that wood and nails, or was that just nails? I wasn't paying attention, man. Every time I see him kill something, I'm just like, go, Gadget, go. Oops, that's not what I meant to hit. Sorry. Okay. Geared up is the achievement we just unlocked. Oh, whoa, 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 that's sick. Okay, I kind of want to run straight to the boss now. I don't want to use too much of my auto attack. Damn, that 
that's so good. Okay, let me, before I forget, we also have a level. Get our rage. I'm guessing the achievement is because we have something in every, uh... I'm like, uh, uh, oh, I don't have any gemstones. I was wondering if that would do much damage to this thing. Ooh, what do you got for me? See, this is why we don't go early. Another journal. Anadiah hasn't been seen in centuries, but the tale of her promised land survived on the tongues of priests and hopeful people alike. I don't know if this promised land exists, but in these dark days, we must hold on to hope. From Eve. No one to talk to. We're missing a little bit of HP, but remember we do have healing potions just waiting for us, kind of scattered about. We still have, like, the top portion of the cave. If we want to be really thorough, we should go and explore that. Okay, nothing. Pretty much nothing. Okay, cool. Only one spot left to check. And then we can make like a baby and head out. Yep, dead end. Alright, y'all. Let's go fight this boss for the first time and see if we can't smack him down. With all of these buffs, all this experience we have now... Let's try not to get mind flooded. Let's try and be... I'm going to try and be the most patient. Going to pop my charm. Now what does this one do? I don't have enough to buy anything anyway, but just... Okay. Don't look. You don't have enough to buy anything. But remembering I had that was pretty clutch. Because I could have easily forgotten. Damn, here we go. Out of my way, Mountain God. Oh, it's gonna be like this. Anea Daya, the mother of beasts and goddess of anguish. A protector, a being of stone made living. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wanted to see if that would do much damage to him. It looks like yes, is the answer. Oh no, oh no! Okay, I guess I have to dodge that. Did I kill him already? I guess I am playing on normal difficulty, I suppose. Perfectionist and Fire Spirit. I didn't take damage because of my wards, I think. I blocked all of his, his incoming damage. That is awesome. Well, we crushed him. We crushed him. Not surprising, we're super charged. Just this attack alone tripled our damage output, you know? Let's talk to our goddess. We're gonna feel real bad when we come back here to fight this again. And we get whooped with a different character. Finally free of the corruption's hold, a Nayan Dyer gazed upon the Bergson, her emerald eyes weary with exhaustion.
Man, I'm wondering if we should be playing this on hard, but normal feels good enough for me. <laughs> I don't know. I was, it was a little anticlimactic, but we were souped up. The spirit's words took life, forming images to reveal what was hidden from the Bergsons. And us, spirits three, knelt before the mountain god U to swear fealty. Our wills were set on peace. His were set on testing ours. And as the test drew to a close, we discovered our wretched ending. The mountain god exacted vengeance on the children of Rhea Dana and tainted Rhea with the corruption. He looks like the Thus king from Marmello. Was another truth revealed to the Bergson, but many more were hidden still. Questions were abundant in the Berkson's minds. If the mountain god was the source of the corruption, what had made him wreak such havoc? How had no one known about him before? They needed to find the next spirit, as maybe they had an answer to some of their questions. We saw More there were three. truths awaited them in the land of the winds. So I'm guessing we're a third of the way through the game. Never would a wolf cub live in as nice a house as the one Ben was building. When asked what name to put on the house, Lucy yelled out, Riker! Riker the wolf cub! Hell yeah, Riker joins the squad. I'm all about it. Let's, um, let's see what this event is real quick. Why would the mountain god corrupt the world? What kind of evil was it that brought it forth? For Margaret, these questions were as important as where and how. And let's spend some of our money. No doubt we have quite a bit. And indeed we do, and we have unlocked... I want to upgrade Wisdom, but it's very expensive. We've unlocked Divine Relic Mastery, grants a second... Divine Relic slot and decreases the cooldown of Divine Relic. So this is how we were able to uh, to hold two at once. The cooldown reduction, you know, 10% doesn't seem incredibly useful to me at the moment. I kind of like upgrading Hoarder, as we talked about for reasons earlier. It's an investment. Could probably use a little bit of speed. Crit chance. Let's get our speed up a little bit. What's the cost of the next speed upgrade? 1900. And you know what? I'm just going to boost our, our HP some more. I was going to say 007, but just just 07. How much gold we have left, how much more of. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. Where's Riker's? Oh, there it is. That is indeed a beautiful doghouse. When I was a kid, I had a, well, my family had a puppy. I didn't quite have the puppy. It was my little brother's puppy. He was, It was a uh, a white American Eskimo. And they were twins. There was a boy and a girl. And 
Twins is the wrong word when you're talking about dogs. They were in the same litter. But we got Snowball, the boy, and my dad, who doesn't really like dogs all that much, he built the most amazing dog house you've ever seen. Something similar to this. Uh, he built like a beautiful enclosure for it with its just a place for it to sleep outside. You know, he he put like a like a light tower next to it. He had like a, a automatic water dispensing station, and he, he put a fence around it, um, mostly to protect it from other animals. Because I'm from South Louisiana, so at night, you know, you want your dog to be safe. If it's not going to be in the house, it needs to be, you know, safely in a dog house. And then, you know, of course, we had a fenced-in backyard. Uh, but we did live near the swamp. But the puppy was just like this. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna spare you guys the tragic ending of Snowball. Um, however, that's what Riker kind of reminds me of. And then after Snowball and, and Snowball's tragic end, we ended up with Lady, who was the sister, and we had her for years and years. Uh, but guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Brett. Channel's Good Talk Gaming, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.